Hey guys, it's Joe for PocketNow.com and one of our viewers was watching our ROM Manager Premium video and said he'd like a little bit more information about one of the options, being the Partition SD card that we talked about just briefly. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so first and foremost, this is ROM Manager Premium. It is available in the market. It is not free, though there is a free version that's kind of like a light version of it that you can get. It's relatively inexpensive, and I highly recommend it. You do need to have a rooted phone to be able to use the majority of the features on this. So that having been said, let's get to disclaimers. Partitioning your SD card is a destructive process, meaning it is going to erase everything on your card. So you have been warned. Now that having been said, if you go ahead and copy everything off of your Android's SD card onto your computer, then you can go ahead and format and partition this SD card and get some of the, uh, the other advantages. So let's go ahead and do that. First of all, you can do this through the user interface by tapping on partition SD card. It asks you the size of the EXT that you want. This is the uh, basically where your SD card can function to get all of your uh, your apps basically installed. So the reader particularly said, hey look, I see that it has 128, 256, and 512 for this partition. Can I do more than that? And that's a good question. I'll show you how to do that, but let's go through how to do this using the user interface first. So we'll say 512, say okay. Next is the swap size, 0, 3264, 128, 256. Now everywhere I've read you want to use 32 or 64 as your swap partition and no more than that. Some ROMs make use of the swap partition, some don't. So I usually go between 32 and 64 meg but I don't do anything bigger than that just because of that. Choose OK and then it is going to warn you that it's going to wipe everything on the card and say hey do you want to continue. Now at this point we'd say OK and it would reboot into recovery mode and partition that SD card with all of the settings that we've just set. But that doesn't answer our viewer's question. So to do that, let's come over here instead and reboot into recovery and we'll do this manually. Are we sure we want to? Yes, we're sure we want to. Rebooting into recovery this way is quite a bit faster because you don't have to do the whole finger gymnastics to be able to get into recovery mode. You don't have to remember that what that is because the, the app itself will just basically say, hey, reboot into recovery, and it does that. And you can see here now it's done that. So let's go ahead and come down here to Advanced. And in Advanced, we have Partition SD Card. So we'll select that. It says EXT size. Now I've got sizes from 128 all the way up to 4 gig. So that's how you can get around the, uh, the limitations of the UI. I'm going to go ahead and set this to uh, 1,024 megabytes or, or 1 gigabyte. Now you want to make sure that this is the right size for your card. If you've got a 1 gig card, you probably don't want to do this. In this case, I've got a 16 gig card in there. So I'm going to select that. My swap size, I'm going to go ahead and make 64 megabytes. And then down here you can see the status. It says that it is Clockward Mod Recovery version 2.5.1.3 and that it is partitioning the SD card and that I should wait. Now this is where you get to be very patient because this process is going to take several minutes. I'm not going to subject you to that on camera. So through the magic of TV, we're going to go ahead and just skip all of that. Alright, and about two minutes have passed. You can see down here it says done and I'm back at my menu. From here I can go through and partition it again if I want to or I can reboot. So we can go ahead and do that. We'll go back to the main menu and I can reboot the system now. That's all it takes to go ahead and partition an SD card. Now if I wanted to I could go through and just partition a whole bunch of SD cards. So if I've got friends who have SD cards and have promised me that they've backed up all their data I can just go through here in assembly line, format them, uh, partition them and I don't have to worry about going into a command prompt and typing in any keys uh, or, or even running any of the special script files that have been out there. So this makes it very very easy. You're a little bit limited on your configuration but once you drop down into recovery mode rather than doing it through the UI it becomes very powerful uh, a lot of those limitations aren't such a big deal anymore because you have more options to choose from so really really nice this is clockwork mod recovery what I showed you before was ROM manager they uh, the first one 
the image itself, you're going to have to get specific for your device. Uh, head over to pocketnow.com and do a search for your device with the words recovery image to see if we've documented how to get that and install it on your device. For ROM manager, you can go ahead and grab that from the marketplace and actually then download and install Clockwork Mod Recovery uh, for your device as well. Really cool, really powerful. Be careful, make sure you get a backup first. If you've got a tip you'd like to see, leave a comment down below. If you have some, uh, some more information about what partition sizes you like and why, please leave those in the comments below. Our readers would love to hear your input on that. So showing off custom partitioning of your SD card for Pocket Now, I'm Joe Levi.